We were so invested in this deal. Even if we do take it back home, put the car up, at least we'll know it's ready. So today we're here at Fuel Tech uh, and we brought the OG car. It's been a long time since we've done anything with this car and it, it's just kind of sitting over in the corner of the shop and, and we're tired of it. We, we like this car on small tires because it works really well. We, we built the new car because this one didn't work good. The more we have this thing on a small tire, the better we like it. it it's happy and, and everything is good. So we went ahead and, and instead of beating the brakes off of this car like we always do, putting it up and it not getting any love, we went ahead and, and completely redid most of the wiring on this deal. We went with a, a FuelTech FT600. We got the coil on plug. So we got uh, the, the FuelTech boost controller and we needed a place to tune it. So who better than here at FuelTech with Luis on the laptop. Swapping everything over, we, we've always had this car on gasoline. It's always ran VP Q16 and we just swapped it to M1. Uh, try to lose a little bit of weight, try to get the intercooler out of the car. To race the radial stuff like LDR, uh, Pro 275, the, the classes that, that this car fits in and that we like to run, we're gonna have to add weight back to the car now since we took so much out of it, but we can add the weight where we want. We saw that Radio Fest was, was coming up and you know during this whole Corona craziness, we're not doing anything else anyway. So we've had actually the time to, to work on the new car, work on the old car, you know, do the odds and ends and stuff around the shop and around the house that, that everybody puts off. We actually got this car going. We worked on it the last two weeks and Radio Fest got canceled. We were so invested in this deal. We had already told Luis and the guys at Fuel Tech that we was gonna be here. So we went ahead and made the trip. Uh, it, it, it's better to get everything completely done on the car so that even if we do take it back home, put the car up, at least we'll know it's ready. We would really like to hit more radial stuff this year. And once this whole Corona stuff is over, I'm sure my, my whole year is gonna be packed full of racing uh, with the new car. So it's probably gonna set again, but it's gonna be ready. We're kind of a spur of the moment type people. We always have been. And with what we do, we have to be. So if the chance comes up for us to hit another radio race, any small tire stuff, really, we'd like to put a slick on the car and race it on the street. Anything with small tires, I, I don't ever see myself putting a big tire back on this car. If we get the chance, we're gonna do it, but who knows, our schedule is gonna be real crazy as soon as all this stuff's over with and we actually get back to filming uh, with the no prep kings and the street stuff that we have to do this year. You know, it's still got most of the same parts. The motor is exactly the same as what it has been for 10 to 12 years since we built the car. Uh, it's, a, it's a big block Chevy 582. It's got the Rossler transmission, three speed in it, pro torque converter. We got 88s on it because the classes that we race, uh, LDR and stuff, you have to have 88s. Power wise, I don't really care what it makes. We know it makes a lot of power. We've been pretty fast with this car on a 275 before. We know what it's capable of. Uh, so I would assume that it's, it's probably gonna make somewhere around 3000. It, it really depends on how much boost we put in it. It, it is a, a cast block cast heads. So I don't want to go overboard with the boost, uh, but as my good buddy Luis says, boost is just a number. So we're going to put the boost to it until it isn't happy anymore. And uh, whatever it makes from there on out, we're good with. We don't really care. So we're just going to get the bugs lined out of it. Uh, Luis has uh, already worked on the idling. He's worked on the spool up. We're letting the car cool off right now and we're going to start making power pulls. This car is, it, it's my original home office and uh, I still fit in this car like a glove and I still love it, you know. Uh, we built a new car for a reason, but I'll never stop loving this car and 
every time we're in it, amazing things happen and hopefully we can continue to do amazing things with it.